co-main event. Heavyweight fight. Albert Munch. Salvador Topinopoulos. Sorry to interrupt there, Randy. I, I have to get it in. But it's our co-main event. Munch, fight. Topinopoulos. Both are wearing gold. Topinopoulos is the taller one in the purple uh, ankle supports. Munch, of course, well, he's the potato guy. Pretty much. And Topinopoulos goes for the takedown right away. We saw some impressive submissions from him, taking out Rodolfo Bad News Cruz uh, with a triangle after we thought that he was losing the first round. He pulls it out of nowhere, and we see going to some ground and pound immediately does Topinopoulos. Goes from side control already, but Munch... Munch is a solid ground and pound fighter as well. He, he studies it a little bit in judo. He, he, he's com comfortable on the ground. He's comfortable just, you know, imposing his will on an opponent and ground and pounding his way to, to win. Uh, again, these are heavy ones, so they're gigantic. Like, uh, say, uh, we got like a tinier guy from earlier, earlier like a dark jammer, trying to come up to like top it off with a nipple. That's very true. Oh, again, different weight class, but again, that's our middleweights, but. Topinopoulos, he, he tips the scales of our heavyweight division at 265 pounds. That is actually the max our, our heavyweights can weigh in at. So he probably has to cut weight for these fights. Yeah, I, I'm just, and sides are, like you see earlier fights, just, these guys are fucking massive in the heavyweight division. And you don't see it unless you see him up close as Munch over some ground and pound, but Topinopoulos goes for the Kimura. This could be, this could spell the end right now. He's going for it. His hips are not fully off the side. It might be okay right now as Munch just holding his own. It's looking to be okay. Yeah, he's able to move. Oh, it slides over to the side. I think I think Topinopoulos gave it up for a second. And Munch was able to move and, and throws a couple bits. Oh. Topinopoulos is hurt, pulls him down. Munch is really just hammering him from the side control. That's a bloodied up nose and goes for an arm bar. I don't this could be it. Holy shit. Topinopoulos, blood pouring out of his nose, coming from his eye, and he's Ow. he's going for it. This is not look good for Albert Munch. He's tapped out to an armbar before he's tapping out again. Salvador Topinopoulos has earned his heavyweight title shot with an, another armbar win broken nose probably. That, he might have broken his nose. That's a lot of blood coming out of there. Uh, if he broke his nose, I think that Topinopoulos is like a wounded animal and just flips out whenever he gets hurt. Just kind of goes into survival mode and breaking, yeah. able to slip out of there, get his hips over to the side and pop them forward. That is all hip strength, just popping your hips forward and extending the arm. And for Albert Munch, he's tapping as he's hitting the ground right there it's either tap or have your arm just dislocated ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest that's no good at four minutes 29 seconds of the very first round declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar big poppy well you got to imagine if Leo Serengeti can defeat Georgie Magumbo Salvador Topinopoulos is thinking revenge as well but he could have Magumbo in a future title shot, it depends on who wins our, uh, the heavyweight title match between the two.